Hey guys, and welcome back to Dot Hat GU Reminisce. Last time we started the game with, like, nothing but cutscene. Apparently we're all stuck in the game because of Ida. And, um, I've been gone for a very, very... Oh, the Medic Union, hello. BJ. Really? Oh god, I just thought of that. What happens if you're playing the game and you're a cat person, or a dog person, or an animal person, or whatever? There's no response from the healing receiver either. I can't use my transcommunication... Transformation cancel. I can't contact my squad leader or the other members. Wait, why? You can still use short mail. What are you talking about? Okay. But yeah, I've been gone for a very, very long time. Because I got, uh... I got Zika. I got bird flu. I got mad cow disease, I got Ebola, I got super cancer, and the worst of all was I got a cold, and I just, like, I was really tired, and I just did not feel it, so yeah, uh, I've just been, <laughs> honestly, I don't really know what it is, it is not for any particular reason, I just really did not feel like recording for a very, very long time, I had the time, I just couldn't, I just really did not feel it, I did not feel like it, Period. For a really long time. Hello, Virgilus. Eep, you scared me. Don't sneak up on me like that. Okay, that's all I need to know. Said I scared him because I walked directly in front of him, up to him. Anyway. So, yeah. Sorry to the people who like watching my, my shit every day, but uh, I was just... I had no drive to record whatsoever. How do I... Oh, shit. How do I open the map? Select. Okay. Oh, I need to go back there? What? Whatever. Anyway, uh, yeah, I did. I had no drive to record whatsoever, and so I didn't force it. And it was not at all. It was not because Dot Hack Rebirth was bad. Because remember how I uh, I played Prototype and I hated it so bad that I was like, man, I don't even know if I want to do this anymore. It was not like that at all. I just had no drive to record. Period. But um, now I'm feeling in the mood to do it, so I'm doing it. And in case you're wondering why I'm walking instead of riding the bike, it's because I actually wanted to say that. And not just, like, you know, get cutscene after cutscene when I could just walk and be able to say everything I need to say. And also, uh, something I'd like to bring up that doesn't really have anything to do with uh, Dot .hack. Um, I... over... I don't remember when I got it. At one point... let's see. Warp menu. So I can go anywhere. So, what am I, what am I doing? No, 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 no. Uh, search. Okay, search. Uh, Wolf record to town bookmark. Is there anything new in the bookmarks? Ah, what's this? The Bange Man? A strange voice is heard in the area. Okay, I don't know what that is. Let's see, what level, what level was it? Maybe I just didn't do it. Uh, level 21, yeah, I just never did that, I guess. Okay, so, wait, what? Oh, okay, the monsters in the area are too weak, you will acquire much inferior, okay. I thought it was like, oh, you require more items for this level 21 area. It's like, what the fuck? Anyway, so, um, over, I don't remember when I got it. I basically, long story short, I got an H, uh, an HDMI capture card. And I have a capture program, and I am able to capture in HDMI now, so I can record PS4 games. But here's the thing. Some of you might not know this, but, um, well actually a lot of people don't know it because I don't really just go around advertising it, but, um, when I record video games, I always record them. No matter what I'm recording, when I record it in, um, in like, component and composite video, it is always at 25 frames per second. Always. So that's why some of my videos may look worse than other people's. But I do that to save on file size. Because I don't use an external hard drive to hold all my videos. I don't have like 50 hard drives sitting around holding every video that I've ever made. That's not how I operate. I record batches of videos and have them on my hard drive. And then once I... um. Once I'm done with the videos, like several days after the videos are uploaded and there's no errors on YouTube or anything like that, like I didn't fuck up the video, I delete them. And so I have no videos at the moment. I have zero. Like as I'm recording this, and this is the, uh, what month is it? September? Is it September? I forget. Uh, 
Yes, September 30th. I'm recording this on the 30th. As of this moment, I have no videos backed up. Well, okay, I have one, but it's not actually created. It's the raw video for the first episode. That's all I have. So, um, okay, yeah, and I don't, oh, what am I, what am I supposed to do over here? Canard, maybe? Talk to Syllabus and Gaspard? I don't know. Anyway, hey, you guys stuck in the game too? Oh. Boy? Boink, yeah, Book of a Thousand, I think. Well, I got some stuff. 700 gold pieces, nice. Or whatever, skill shop, no, use storage. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. I'm just like, oh, I can't walk out of the game even though I'm just an NPC. <laughs> oh, what the? Where did you come from? Were you there the whole, how long have you been standing there? <laughs> Something's gone wrong, oh man, oh man, whoa, 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 whoa. what's going on? Yeah, that's about it. Anyway, so, um, I record at 25 frames per second, and so my videos are lower quality to save on file size because I have to, I hold on to my videos and then once they're uploaded, I delete them. Um, at the moment, like with zero videos, I have around, you know, be, between all the other stuff I have on my computer, be it game files or music or whatever. Um, oh my god, come on, thank you. You know, game files, uh, games on Steam, uh, videos, music, etc narrations, everything. Uh, between everything else I have on my computer, I have around 150 gigs of free space. And ordinarily that's, that is plenty. Because like when I have a batch of like 30 videos, that might only take up, depending on the video size, it might only take up like, I want to say maybe like 30 gigs once they're all processed and everything. So like that's when I have the raw videos, the narrations, and the finished videos all put together. So when I have all those additional files, that's how much space I have, so I still have like 110. When I recorded HDMI, those things were, are insane. Like I had, I was recording at like normal quality, which is like 60 frames per second, like 920 by 1080 or something, you know. However, however good looking the HDMI is, like at base resolution, it's insane. Like I got like two gigs per minute. <clears throat> for one video. So now if I record 10, e even just 10, let's cut this, let's cut this like backlog in, actually, you know what, let's cut it in half. Um, say I record four 20 minute videos. Yeah, so that's 40 gigs per video. That's before anything else. And so because of the file size, I had to find a way to record HDMI at a significantly lower frame rate and resolution. So if I decided to record HDMI videos, they would probably look around the same as this. So I don't know. Oh, I don't know if that would be a problem for people, but just to put it out there, if I ever decided to record PS4 videos, I know it's a very long explanation, but you have to understand. Um, if I ever decided to record PS4 videos, which I probably will at some point, I'm just putting it out there, they're not gonna look amazing. They will look acceptable. They will look like this, where you can see everything perfectly, but it's not like people who have like 20 terabytes of space on their regular gaming laptop. You know what I mean? I can't do that, because I just can't. So, sorry if that's a problem for you, but there you go. So anyway, that's my explanation for that. Because I knew that a long time ago, but I never had the opportunity to really say anything about it. Hey, what's going on here? Why can't I log out? Is this some kind of event? Or someone's bad joke? Can you tell me what's happening? You're some kind of admin guy, right? Please, calm down. We are working hard to... How do you expect us to calm down? What are you going to do about this? I'm terribly sorry. Please, just try to be patient for a while. So, that guy in the blue suit is an admin. Looks like even CC Corp doesn't have a very good handle on the situation. Well, that's not good. Then again, oh, now for information, come to the serpent. Oh. Short mail. Yep. But I don't wanna. Ugh. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on, I forgot about the teleporters, like the things. Haha. Uh -huh. Get out of the way, cat people. 
I require a teleporter. Stat. Or warp point. Whatever. Uh, mercenary. Let's do it! And actually, just saying the word mercenary makes me want to play the uh, mercenaries again. Man, that was such a good game. Maybe the... Wow, you walk slowly! Man! Hey! You! Why can't I log out of here? How should Come on, I know? speak up, will ya? Damn it! Damn it! Where am I? What is this place? Why am I actually inside the game? Why are you why is everybody like, ooh, where am I? You've been playing here for god knows how long. I understand that you, you know, like your consciousness is fully inside the game and your body is essentially just a corpse on your desk, but still, calm down. It'd be like if you were playing World of Warcraft and you're just standing in Stormwinds, like, all of a sudden, boop, where, where am I? <laughs> you know, I mean, you know that city. You can't go in any doors, obviously, but, like, what is the deal here? <laughs> Why is everybody, whatever. So it seems that humans who lack morals both online and offline say the very same things after all. Where in the hell is that coming from? Are you a PKer? Who are you? Well, it seems that you only act strong when facing those weaker than you. Pitiful. What? <laughs> if you're that scared, run back to Kestrel with your tail between your legs. <laughs> As reported, it looks like those from Kestrel are stirring more panic in the people. Okay, there, finally. Everyone, go support the town's order. We must not let them panic. Understood. Adelie. I was so worried about you. You are so evil, dude. Are you okay? Are you evil? I'm sorry, Sakaki. What's wrong? I can't seem to hear you. You see... Ever since you were killed by a bugged monster, you've been unable to speak? Yes. I know it's kind of hard to believe. Oh no, I believe it. You're not one to tell a lie. I'm in love with you, Adelie. Ugh, oh, God. I'm sure you know this, but all players are currently unable to log out from the game. In fact, they have lost sight of their very selves. It's almost as if their minds have been absorbed into the heart of the world itself. Really? <laughs> okay. No, it's more That's than that. right. A game. <laughs> but at the same time, it's also a reality all its own, Adelie. No, it's not. At any rate, we must stop the players from panicking. Okay. You will help us, won't you? Yes! Even though you can't speak. Good girl. Ugh! Well then. God, you're so rapey. So Mr. Sakaki's the only one you can rely on after all, huh? <laughs> Wall. So it's you, Terror of Death. Yup. It appears there are only enemies to be found in your world. Adelie, why are you here? I thought I told you to stay at the ad home. Actually, Yada told you. I'm sorry. I thought I should contact Sakaki and. You shouldn't have. Listen to me. This isn't something Moon Tree can do anything about. Moon Tree. <laughs> I see. Are you saying that you can solve this situation? I'm not saying I can, I'm saying you can't. With a lot more certainty than you can. <laughs> What's so funny? Conceit. Don't you agree? That it is the lust for power that is most certain to make fools out of people. Terror of death. What do you mean by that? I mean exactly what I said. Okay, then explain Adelie. your terms. Yes! 
I will see you later. <laughs> God! Since I can't log out of the game, I'll just have to get my log out in you. <laughs> Rape joke! Anyway, jeez. Because he's an asshole! Huh? Why did you have to say things like that? Because he's an asshole! But they can't. They only want to help everyone. Well, not Sakaki. Ida isn't a problem that Moon Tree can solve. But even so, I don't understand. I just don't understand you, Haseo. Well, good. You're going back to the at home at least. <sighs> Get back in the kitchen, make me a sin or whatever. Uh, now what am I doing? Uh, b oh, right, I needed to talk to... Yeah, yeah, I needed to talk to... Yetta. In the... In the Serpent of Lure. Alright. What's up? What are you doing in here? I see. The situation is much more serious than we thought. How so? Let us summarize for a moment. Thanks. And I need to know what's Ever going on. Ever since the Ida phenomenon occurred while searching for Atali, no one has been able to log out of the game. Okay, we already knew that. Furthermore, none of the players have been able to return to their real-world selves and their real lives. We still already knew that. And no new players have been able to log into the game. Oh shit, no new revenue! Communications with the outside receive no reply. Some of the players have panicked to the point where they're starting to get violent. It seems that the system admins can't contain these players any longer. Yes. The system admins themselves are just as confused. Right now, their real selves are... At this point, we're no different than the Lost Ones. It is quite obvious that the reason for this abnormality is Ida. If we ever want to return to the real world again, it is imperative that we investigate Ida as quickly as possible. And one more thing. Let me tell you something important. Something important? Now that her epitaph has been stolen, Adelie's PC data is starting to degenerate. <gasps> degenerate? What is he talking about? I'm sorry. But why didn't you tell us? That's enough. Isn't it obvious? She didn't want us to worry about her. <clears throat> Yada, in this world our minds aren't residing in our bodies, but in our player characters, right? That is merely speculation. But in this case, it would seem to be the most likely explanation for what we are experiencing. So this is a world where our minds and characters are linked together. Wasn't that already the case with the Epitaph users? I guess... whatever. So, what will happen if Adelie's character data is lost while she's in this world? There is a distinct possibility that her own consciousness will be lost as well. <gasps> what? You've got to be kidding me! What should we do? How can we cure her of this? Is your head just for decoration? You should try thinking before you make a big fuss. Really? I'm asking a genuine question about how to help somebody and you're gonna get snarky about it? What's your deal? <laughs> Master Yada, do we know anything else? This too is only a guess. But it seems that this place is not really the world as we thought. It is a false world that Ida has created by copying the data off of CC Corp's servers. 
I believe that the world we are currently inside of is such a place. So then, this is some kind of a mirror server. That's one way to put it. Adelie, at one time you had the power to distinguish Ida's sound from all others. Ida's sound? Come to think of it, didn't you say something like that when we found Indy Glut Lou? Uh, well, if you mean hearing strange sounds and seeing bug-like things, I've had that happen a number of times. Have you heard that sound after being placed in your present condition? No, I haven't. I thought so. It all makes sense. It would seem that the data Ida stole from her is... You don't mean... the young girl's Morgana Factor? Morgana Factor? What's that? Master Yana! It's all right to tell him all about it now. The Morgana Factor is the specialized data that makes Epitaph users unique. Epitaph users are special characters created by CC Corp for use during certain projects. Thus, Epitaph user PCs have data inside them that is not found inside regular PCs. That's the Morgana Factor, usually called Epitaphs. So the reason that we can use avatars is because we have that Morgana Factor? I, I mean Epitaphs? That's right. Hence, Epitaph users. CC Corp wants to mass-produce Epitaph users. You mean as a defense against Ida? Yes, but thanks to strong protection protocols, we've been unable to adequately analyze them. We still don't know exactly what the Morgana Factor is. Thanks to that, not only can't we mass-produce, we can't even make a copy of it. So why not just bring the creator in on it? He should be able to take care of that without a problem. As far as we know, the Morgana Factor was not created by any one person. Well then, how did you get a hold of him in the first place? We managed to salvage it from the dark abyss of this world. The abyss of this world? Each of the Morgana Factors has its own name and identity. In my case, the name of my avatar is Tarvos. The epitaph of the Avenger. My avatar's name is Magus, the epitaph of the propagation. As for Asao, his avatar goes by the name of Scape. He is the epitaph of the Terror of Death. The Terror of Death. It's an odd coincidence that it's the same as your PKK nickname. Even with Magus's The Propagation, we can't repair the Morgana Factor. Thus, now that she has lost her Epitaph user abilities, Atalie can no longer hear Ida's sound. Maybe that's also part of the reason why Atalie lost her voice. Yada, what can we do to help her? There are no alternatives but to try to recover her Morgana Factor from Ida. However... What? It will be difficult to trace Ida precisely, now that we are no longer on the actual CC Corp server. Fortunately for us, this Ida server is far from being perfect. This world contains seams in the structure. The fact that we can save our data is proof of that. That means... Yes. All we have to do is find them. It seems to me that at this point, our only acceptable option is to infiltrate the Ida areas and conduct a thorough search. Infiltrate? You mean with just us? There's no way we could possibly cover all the Ida areas between just the few of us. This is an emergency. We will reach out and ask other players for help. That's pretty impressive, coming from someone as secretive as you. Haseo, I believe you had a relationship with those at Moon Tree. You should go and ask them for help. Really? Why not Adelie? 
She's the one that's from Moon Tree. Moon Tree? Do you think there's a chance that they would really listen to me? Moon Tree would never abandon someone in trouble. That's what Sakaki always said. That Moon Tree is there to help save people. Huh. I will go and contact Zalkova myself. Thank you. Hi. I want you to go with Haseo and help with his negotiations. You're talking to Zalkova! He's the leader! We don't need me and Pai! Yes, Master Yada. Uh, what about me? You can sit here and be useless. Adelie, you will stay here. And be useless. Huh? But... If news of that arm were to spread beyond this group, it would only make things worse. Off to Moon Tree Headquarters. Don't forget, the area words are Delta setting Eternity's Night Moon. I'll be back. Okay, I'll be waiting at the Chaos Gate. Ugh. I don't want to go to Moon Tree. They're a bunch of dicks. Well, okay, Sakaki's a dick, but. Zelkova and Kaide, I think her name was, are fine, but. Hey, Coon. Bye, Coon. Out of the way, Adelie. Nobody likes you. I don't. Okay. So, again, oof, tons and tons of cutscenes. And also, uh, just in case people have been hearing it, I'm sure they have been. I'm sorry if my headphones are making, like, a, like a creaking noise. I'm going to fiddle with them after this video and see if I can get them to stop. But, yeah, sorry if that noise has been annoying. Save. We're gonna go ahead and make a save data because I'm not redoing all these damn cutscenes. Even though I, I know how to skip them now, I think. But yeah. So, oh, I'm gonna end it off here. Man, we've already been playing for almost an hour. <laughs> I'm gonna end it off here. Next time, um, we will go to Moon Tree. We'll go to Blech Tree. And we will talk to, uh, you know, people. So yeah. See you then.